G'day guys, hope all is well. Doing a quick video to just check out Sir Hinkle's map, Iwo Jima. It's a 2v2 map, and I'd like to see if it could be put into the tournament, upcoming tournament roster for the Award at War mod. Um, so let's have a look. Test mode, start. So I'm probably not the best person to be doing this, as I'm not that fussy with map balance, to be honest. As long as it's relatively balanced, I don't complain, but there are a lot of people in the community, competitive community uh, in particular, who are very meticulous with the detail of balance, uh, though for me, I don't really care too much. So feel free to put your opinions anyway on the video. So let's check it out. Um, so it's a fairly, it's, I guess it's a um, fairly uh, um, barren map in terms of there's no towns. There's a big ditch, it seems to be all the way from the west to east. And it's quite long, I guess quite a wide map in fact. So from west to east it's very wide. From south to north it's not that far, to be honest. I bought a squad. I don't have to go too far to get to that point. This is just a feeling, by the way, so it doesn't look like it's uh, interesting, I guess. So quick to get into the action. I suppose, and being wide, I s that would make it more more chances of flanking and, yeah, I guess going past the enemy's lines. So let's take a look from the flag points east to west. Um, it's a 1v1. I loaded it up, uh, obviously, with one player, which means it's a 1v1 flag situation. So, I don't know. Should have added a bot, in fact. Maybe I'll add a bot. Sorry, guys. I'll quickly add a bot. That will make sure that it is... Uh, 2v2 flags, so I can see where the flags are actually placed to discuss the balance, so let's have a look. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, interesting. Back flag points. So, back flag points between the east and centre for the allies. Okay, so this area, hmm, the axes have this stonewall cover, that is good for them. Uh, this side, allies don't have cover, but near the flag point on the rock. So for, for a whole squad, let's say practically, if I send it there, a lot of them will be actually not be not being able to fire in combat. But there is cover on the flag point on this area. But to be honest, if you send a whole Axis squad down here and then a few guys to just cap the flag, these guys will be shooting at the guys trying to get into here and yeah, they'll be the Allied squad will be pretty much damaged quite badly. So I think it's definitely an Axis um, yeah, an access uh, bonus this area. Guess you can kind of flank down this way maybe to flank that wall, but that wall is yeah really tough. <coughs> really um yeah, really is a big defensive bonus for the axis. Uh, this back point's interesting. So I guess the axis do have an easy time to come up this hill because you can't obviously shoot the guys down the hill, so they'll be bolting down without being fired. They can come up the hill and prone straight onto this flag and fire onto it. And this flag doesn't really have cover too, so I like this side for Axis as well. Um, looks like the gully continues all the way down, which obviously will be used for... It'll be, be easy to send troops down and to camp here, really. And also to... You can even... If that, that, that stone wall is covered, I could send a squad down here and up and flank, so... Provides good flanking opportunities, I think. Hopefully not too many grenade um, grenade wars, though. Um, interesting back point. I guess that, that's potentially going to be attacked quite a bit, to be honest, because it's quite easy to attack. Uh, this point here, sandbag on the right of center, and on the other side, you have something similar. The distances looks quite similar. I think it actually is a bit closer for the axis. I don't think it really matters because the allies have the bonus of getting to this area first and the other guys yeah pretty much can fire I guess further in because they're closer to the flag. I uh, see it's pretty even in the center. A few stone walls to cover. The elevations yes yeah, still there. Uh, let's see this axis spawn point. So axis spawn point, wow this guy's pretty brave isn't he? <laughs> the AI. Uh, the axis spawn point is quite similar I guess you can just run up and attack it it's not doesn't have much cover around 
Uh, approachable, there's quite a few heals around to just waltz up and attack, so quite similar. Both spawn flags, quite easy to attack. Uh, on this side, ooh, interesting. Ah, right, I see. So this side has the stone wall instead for the allies. So this point is good for the allies. And on this end, the cover is quite similar to the other cover. Cover. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually quite a lot of guys able to shoot to that direction. <clears throat> Let's just give a look. Is it that much different? Seems like this is a lot closer and better. Is it? It's directly on the flag. This one is not really. Yeah, it's not really that far. I mean, it's not really that close, is it? I think you can sneaky cap through here even, like prone a guy down here or prone a squad right over here. It's a bit of a hill. So maybe, I don't know, I feel the Axis side, this is an Axis map, but due to my relative, uh, my I guess my laxed balancing attitude, I think it's fine. <laughs> I'm happy to try this out in the tournament, just, just for variety, because it's not too bad balance. What do you guys think? Let me know. I don't know. I think it's perfectly fine. Check it out, guys. If you have time to playtest it, I... yeah. Don't. I'll try playtest it when I can. The tournament is... Uh, yeah, by the way, so the tournament is... is uh, what date is it? 19th. Okay, so expecting the patch in the month. So probably about two, three weeks to tournament. I haven't been practicing. I'm going to be practicing hard probably a week. A week before the tournament. Um, yeah, just don't waste time doing it now because usually you can get back up to your back to your normal skills after a full week of playing so I'll do all my uh, all my work now <laughs> work hard now for work and also uh, do get extra brownie points with the baby and wife by spending a lot of time with them and doing a lot more with them so I can spend a bit more time in gaming for, the, for about a month or so when this tournament happens hmm so let me know your thoughts uh, yeah that's it guys just a quick video on that Mm, yeah, balance changes, they're coming. Uh, artillery is going to be uh, nerfed. There's a few other things, like the French Delar rifle, I'm going, hopefully going to replace with a new model. So you need someone to make a new automatic rifle, which is not so, I guess, uh, I guess game deciding. Just to make a bit more of a choice between regulars and assault squads and elite marksmen for the French. And also take away the elite marksmen for all the... So the Delar rifle for all the other squads that used them, except the British uh, commandos as they were originally on. Okay, that's uh, what else? Oh, yes, uh, China. That uh, I think the squad with the pack two pack thirty sixes. I'm going to buff a bit. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, let me know. Actually, I actually don't have anything clear in my head too because I haven't been playing this game much. Um, yeah, feel free to communicate in the list everything you have, um, and I will attend to it. See you guys. Bit, bit of a waffle. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, have, have, a, have a good night.